Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. Good luck, shills, dust, lasers, peasants, vassals, minions, mumpa, thieves, coquettes. I'm a useful idiot. Welcome. And uh, today, uh, well, or actually in the last couple of days, uh, British Parliament passed a non binding resolution to give diplomatic recognition to Palestine. And so we see this uh, quickly uh, uh, have a, an effect. Sweden became the first uh, Eurozone country proper. Uh, to recognize uh, Palestine, and uh, now we have British Parliament, and uh, this is all the more dramatic because, of course, uh, this is uh, the UK is uh, America's oldest partner and uh, is always there to support U.S. foreign policy, and so this is a break uh, for the UK being a vassal state and uh, doing uh, the U.S.'s bidding. Although uh, some would argue that. Of course, the U.S. does the U.K.'s bidding, but that's a, an argument for a whole other day. But a very dramatic vote, uh, 274 to 12. So a lot of uh, previously very staunch supporters of Israel uh, apparently have seen enough uh, recently uh, to change their tune. And uh, the government is still officially opposed to recognizing the Palestinian state, uh, but that uh, is still a, a very... Uh, profound uh, uh, statement, and certainly uh, Israel is getting the statement from countries like Sweden and uh, the UK vote to recognize Palestine, and, and in fact, predictably, a spokesman for Israel's foreign ministry said that the moves by the UK and Sweden, quote, make conflict resolution more difficult by sending Palestinians the message that they can achieve things outside negotiations, unquote. And uh, this is a, a predictable statement that you would get uh, from Israel uh, to say something uh, as vague as to make conflict resolution more difficult. Um, why don't you just come out and say that it, it's a roadblock to peace? And why would it be a, a roadblock to peace to have more nations uh, recognize the state of Palestine? So uh, let's uh, call that statement what it is. And, uh, and then also the idea that... Uh, the, these uh, resolutions and recognition of the Palestinian state by these countries is sending the message that the Palestinians can achieve things outside negotiations. Uh, that's just also another way of saying that uh, they want to have complete control of the destiny of Palestine. And don't want any outside interference. And uh, so let's be clear uh, there. But uh, uh, that said, uh, this this is not necessarily um, going to be a dramatic turnaround, although there's a lot of dissatisfaction with uh, Israel uh, across the, the Eurozone now, certainly in the, in the popular vote. And as long as there's elections going on, uh, uh, some of these governments may change their tune. But one reason why I say that is in 2011, apparently Spain uh, passed a similar motion and the government and it never followed through. Uh, but nonetheless, in 2011, apparently Spain tried to be one of the uh, uh, members of the Eurozone uh, to recognize the Palestinian state. And um, interestingly, in this article, it also, uh, from the New York Times, I believe, uh, uh, Romain Nadal, who is a uh, foreign ministry spokesman for France, said that France, quote, will have to recognize Palestine, unquote. Uh, but did, did not specify when the move would take place, but apparently uh, France will soon follow, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Germany also uh, joins in. There's certainly a lot of uh, uh, sentiment in that country uh, against Israeli policy uh, of the last uh, uh, few months, and certainly of the last few decades. So, uh, so this is interesting, uh, although all these gestures are, are generally... Uh, symbolic. Uh, now we are moving closer to a global recognition of the state of, of uh, Palestine, and uh, we have a further uh, embarrassment, embarrassment for uh, Israel. Although um, I would assume, uh, if Israel is going to stay in character, there they will only continue to be more and more defiant of the more countries that line up to recognize Palestine, and um, this uh, also makes it all the more difficult. Uh, for Israel to uh, expand settlements, uh, which they just announced more of, and uh, have, they have been uni universally condemned for confiscating more land and building more settlements, making this 
two-state solution, all the more fraud. Uh, and, and certainly these European countries uh, recognizing Palestine, even symbolically, uh, is sending a message uh, about all these machinations. So uh, there we have it. Sweden, now the UK. Uh, it looks like France will probably follow, and I suspect Germany and others will uh, line up as well. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too?